welcome back to the channel. Today I have my very good friend Lewis here from LT Custom Guitars. Hey mate, great to see you. And you both. Really, really good to see you. And you have brought this incredible guitar over for me um, to have a little look at. Uh oh. And it's got a nice chunky neck which i love so tell me about the concept of this because it's a, a new guitar in your range yeah so we've been doing the the tellies or the t-types for a long time now and the trouble is you give endless options and then people wonder why they come in at two and a half three grand sometimes yeah. like well look how you spec it so obviously keeping one eye on sort of how things are going at the minute in the world in terms of everything's getting more expensive. Yeah. Um, and also one eye on what we can arguably do as musical instrument manufacturers. Yeah. And then also being a musician myself, as well as a guitar builder, I wanted to bring this, bring the telly, because that's the one I'm asked for most of all, um, down to what, and I'll be very careful here when I say a <laughs> realistic price point for a custom hand-built guitar yeah. yeah so it's going to limit some of the options but it's still so customizable <laughs> This one especially, I went for the Polonia body, which um, so like yeah, it comes in at five pounds eight ounces, which is wow. It's um, it is, that is the second lightest guitar that I've built yet. Which, funny enough, the first lightest was Polonia <laughs> bodied as well, and that was five pounds seven ounces. So yeah. they're coming in consistently around that weight. <laughs> We wanted to give you the chance to go through everything like the fretboard radius, yeah. the species of wood you're going to use in bodies and necks, right. the fret size, your fret dot sizes, yeah. um, 
Her a small dot. I think they look a little bit more modern, yeah. personally. And as always, your finishing of the front ends is exquisite. Thank you. That was a little bit trickier because I'm on the fret size on this model, I mm. went for the Dunlop 6120, right. which is wide, yeah. but actually not as tall as a lot of the other Dunlop wire. Oh, so, okay. I, yeah, it was a, that a was a, a bit of a, a challenge to very get Very nice. Very, very nice finishing, both top and bottom. I reckon with Phil McKnight's stockings, there'd be no damage. <laughs> And the other thing that we, we're asked for a lot is the colours and yeah. in nitro cellulose because a lot of people want it to wear over yeah. time. And I'm not talking about taking it out back and throwing it down the garden path. To, so this is nitro. That's nitro. Um, and they're not the, it's not the thickest coats because, again, people say, well, is it going to wear when I play it? And I think, yeah, you know, yeah. over the years. So yeah. if we keep it slightly thinner, um, but... Also, then we give it more modern appointments. So there's a subtle forearm yeah. contour, there's a tummy tuck, lower hand cut, the curved heel, but is also slightly chamfered as well. <laughs> with an ashtray bridge. That's it. So these were developed with somebody we know quite well. Yeah. Um, I don't know if we can mention him yet, but... If um, you can. Well, yeah. So, Lee Fuge, um, he, you know, when we were going back and forth about it, yeah. um, he said it's got to, you know, if you're going for that classic thing, it's got to be an ashtray bridge. Yeah. So the compromise was it's an ashtray bridge, but we're going to have the but compensated saddles. Oh, and yeah, okay. and, and through the wow. body. So it's got Goto hardware, Goto machine heads. And then, you know, talking to Lee about pickups, because this is arguably one of the most important things. Totally. Uh, we came to the decision to go to Radio Shop in Wales, who Lee knows quite well. Right. Um, and yeah, he does a couple of tele sets and we were talking to Paul about what it is that I was trying to achieve here. Yeah. And the, again, you can customize whether you go for in this one, it's the RTV 52 set. Right. And so that is a set for a tele. Yep. And okay. then the other option you have, it's, there is a small upcharge on it. Um, I think it's 10 pounds extra. You can have the tele, the ID set. Which, Too much for my Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> And then if you want to get even more into it, um, you can have the four-way mod instead of the three-way. Right. Um, if you ask me nicely, as somebody else did, I will coil split so you can have the outer phase option as well, which I think gives you five, possibly six sounds if it right. coil splits yeah. parallel and series. Yeah. So they become very versatile, but at the core, I didn't want something that was going to do everything. 
I wanted something that was going to do that and speaking to Paul at Radio Shop Pickups, I think, yeah, he's got that classic twang in the bridge. But yeah. what always gets me is just how warm that and round that neck pickup is. The whole thing feels great to hold. It's incredibly light, which is great. Um, Colour is... That's surf green. Surf green. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff around. Yeah, and you've only got to take a picture in the wrong light, and that looks Daphne blue. And you're like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's one of these things. And um, yeah, we, I think we're offering six colours uh, right. as standard. What colours? So we've got Daphne blue, surf green, fiesta red, Olympic white, black, butterscotch. We should have known that because that's what the other one is. <laughs> um, so yeah, you can have like the black guard. Um, yeah. How much? So they start, if you went for the the sort of the stock options on it, they're yeah. $15.99 with a, a really heavily padded Ritter bag. bag. Nice. Uh, that's it. We spec'd it up. So on the website now, the builder is live. So you can go through and select all the options. And there's a cost calculator next to it, so you right. can see. But even if you spec this up to the absolute max, it's still under $1,900. Wow. Um, so yeah, the idea was try and keep this, and again, I'll say realistic, but yeah. it's still a handmade custom instrument. Well, yeah, I think it is absolutely beautiful. Love the head so. Oh, can I just say on, on this as well? Yeah. Again, the whole telly side of thing, I'm glad you reminded me of this. Yeah. This is a slightly scaled down version of my regular six in line. So it's not as small as the Pioneer head stock, Yeah. but it's small enough that it's that nod, because obviously, Tellies, T types, they all have traditionally a, a smaller headstock, don't yeah, they? So certainly. if you put this next to one of my strats or S types, it would be a smaller headstock. It's in a smaller footprint. Right, I think it looks great. I love the LT. Um, what's the it's uh, nut material? Oh, so it's Corian. I use Corian in the nut right. rather than I just want to move away from bone and it, it works very similarly and it will have some <laughs> it will so the story behind that is these were getting ready in the run-up to the birmingham guitar yeah. show i ordered on bulk a load of really smart little string trees all finished in chrome which are yeah. the easiest things to get hold of workshop became an absolute mess with getting these ready for brum yeah. came back so it's fine i'll fit them after it's tidy now and I can't find them. <laughs> so I've ordered more, they just haven't turned up. Okay. But yeah, they will have a string tree. String over. Trees, yeah. Beautiful guitar. Thank you so much for coming over and letting me try it out. Um, and I hope these really take off for you because they are absolutely beautiful. Thanks. Cheers, mate. Cheers.